एलिमेंट्री कैनल एंड एक्शन ऑफ एंजाइम्स आर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ एलिमेंट्री कैनल एंड एसोसिएटेड ग्लैंड The process of digestion starts in the mouth. Food is chewed in the mouth with the help of our teeth. In the mouth the digestive juice saliva mixes with the food. Saliva is secreted by the salivary glands. It contains an enzyme ptyalin. Ptyalin acts on starch and converts it to maltose. This chewed food is swallowed. and it passes through the stomach through the esophagus or food pipe there is no digestion in the esophagus food moves down the esophagus by the process of peristalsis the wavy motion of its muscles stomach is a thick muscular bag here food is mashed into a pulp simultaneously various enzymes act on the food These enzymes are produced by gastric glands present on the wall of the stomach. Gastric glands produce gastric juice which contain two major enzymes pepsin and renin. Pepsin breaks down proteins into peptones. Renin acts on milk proteins and is active only in infants as their diet is mainly milk. The food that is churned in the stomach is called chyme. This passes down to the duodenum. Duodenum receives two digestive juices, bile and pancreatic juice. Liver, the largest organ in our body, produces bile. It is stored in a bag-like structure called gallbladder. Later it is transferred into the duodenum through the bile duct. Bile does not contain any enzymes. It helps to emulsify fats. That is the fats blend with the watery medium in the body thus enabling easy digestion and absorption of fats. Pancreatic juice is produced by pancreas which empties its secretion into the duodenum through the pancreatic duct. The enzymes present in the pancreatic juice are trypsin amylase and lipase trypsin acts on proteins and its minor components and converts them into the next simple forms the polypeptides similarly amylase converts starch into maltose lipase acts on emulsified fats and converts them into fatty acids and glycerol which are the absorbable forms of fat The food now moves into the small intestine. Digestion is completed in the small intestine. The intestinal glands produce intestinal juice which contains many enzymes. Enzyme peptidase converts polypeptides into amino acids. Enzymes like maltase, sucrase and lactase convert all sugars and carbohydrates into the simplest form glucose these simplest forms of food like glucose amino acids fatty acids and glycerol are absorbed in the small intestine the structures called villi in the intestine increase the total surface area of absorption glucose and amino acids are absorbed into the blood vessels of the villi whereas fatty acids and glycerols are absorbed into the lacteal lymph duct of the villi minerals and vitamins are also absorbed here these nutrients do not require digestion the unwanted food after digestion is passed into the large intestine here water is absorbed the remaining waste is ingested out of our body